Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one we're going to show you how you can use timesheets in Myob. So rather than just entering the total hours for each pay category when you process the payroll, there is an option to use timesheets. And this is quite handy if, especially if uh, there are different uh, overtime penalties kicking in at different times of the day. So then you can uh, put it all in, enter all the information across the different payroll categories in the timesheets module, and then that will flow through to payroll. So let's have a look. So first thing we do is we go to the payroll section, enter timesheets, and then we get a message. If you wish to use timesheets, you must first enable the I use timesheet system preference. Would you like to enable this preference? Yes, we do and it takes us to the preferences menu where you have to go down to the bottom here and say I use timesheets for payroll and my week starts on Monday depending on whatever day your pay week starts. Okay that and you can also get to that by going to set up preferences and there you'll see it. Okay so now we're good to go. Enter timesheet and now it lets us go through into the timesheet module and we're going to select our employee Charlie Watts where you've got our pay week here the week of 24th of October to 30th of October so 24th should be a Monday because we set that up in the preferences before saying our week starts on Monday let's just check that 24th is a Monday to 30th 24th to the 30th that's all good and then we're going to go here and select the payroll category so we've got base hourly and then we can say on Monday Charlie did 8 hours Tuesday did 8 hours Thursday he did 8 hours but he also did some overtime so we're going to go overtime time and a half that's what 1.5x refers to and on Tuesday he did two hours over time and then you can see down the bottom here we got 26 total hours which is made up of 24 hours base hourly and two hours over time and if you have uh, different pay categories in here um, you might have a double time uh, you might have uh, different penalty rates for working different times of the day we can set that up as well to do that you go into the card file card list employee we'll click into Charlie Watts there payroll details wages and here you can see there's a whole different bunch of pay categories so we've got base hourly we can click on bonus we'll scroll down and we want some double time as well and you can set up new categories with different rates as well. So we'll click OK. We'll close out of here, out of the card file. We'll go back to the payroll section here. Actually, we'll just control tab over it to our timesheet. Now let's see if it comes up. The new categories don't come up. So we're going to cancel out of that. And we're going to clear the timesheet. And we'll do enter that again. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to close out of the function altogether and then we're going to go back in because we want to see those new payroll categories coming up. And there we go. We got the overtime double. We haven't got the bonus. Let's have a look at why that isn't there. And I think it's going to be because bonus doesn't relate to hours. But let's have a closer look. We can see here bonus is a salary type, base hourly is hourly type, and the overtimes are hourly as well. So the reason bonus isn't coming up in the timesheets is because it's salary, not hourly. It's not related to hours worked. But that will come up in the actual payroll after you've processed the timesheet. Okay, so let's go back to our timesheet. All right, here we are, 24th to 30th of October. We had base hourly, it was eight hours Monday. 
eight hours Tuesday, eight hours Thursday. We had time and a half, two hours on Tuesday. And let's say um, we also had double time on Sunday, two hours. So now we've got 28 hours total, 24 hours base hourly, two hours overtime and a half, and two hours overtime, double time. So we're gonna click OK. And then if we go to our payroll, we'll go process payroll, and then we'll go the week that we're doing, 24th, to the 30th of October. And we can see the timesheet hours here is 28. And you can also click in to have a look at the timesheet. And we'll see what we just entered. Our base hourly 24 hours, overtime for time and a half, two hours, and overtime, double time for two hours. And then you can click next to go through to the next section of the payroll. We'll click in to have a look at Charlie's pay here. And you'll see base hourly 62. All right, why is that there? All right, so we can see we've got a problem here where it says base hourly 62, but really he only worked 24. Let's go have a look at his card file again. We can shortcut to that with the arrow here, or we can go back out to the command center and then go cards and card list. All right, payroll details, wages, Base hourly, let's go have a look at that. Actually, that's not where I wanted to go. We want to go to standard pay. And we can see here, there's 38 hours there. So what it's done, we got 38 in the template here, the default template. And then we've added 24 to it, which equals 62. That's where the 62 came from. So we're gonna get rid of that because we don't want anything to come through on the template. But if you do, then uh, this is where you do it. So we'll OK that. We need to cancel this. Let's see what happens if we go into it again. Yep, we're going to have to do a whole new pay run. Okay, adjustments are going to be reset. That's what we want to do. Yep, happy with that. Now let's see what happens on the actual payroll. The dollar amount has changed. That's a good sign. And there we go. We've got the base alley, 24 hours which is what we actually had on the timesheet. This is what we want to see. Overtime and a half, two hours. Overtime, double time, two hours. Okay, that's it for the video, guys. So as you can see, it's not too hard to use the timesheets function once you have a few little uh, things set up in the background in the settings. And you may have an issue or two like we just had the first time you do it. But as long as you know how to go into the card file and make the appropriate adjustments, you'll be just fine. So if you want to book in a training session, head over to the link in the description. We can come out to your office and we can do training online as well. We specialize in accounting software, but also any kind of business software training. Have a chat to us. We'll see what we can do. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you later.